Hello, this is Teacher Malu and welcome back again to Math Habit. Okay, so ang pag-aaralan naman natin ngayon is adding and subtracting like and unlike fractions. Okay, so bago tayo mag-start, mag-review muna tayo. Okay, so una, what is numerator and what is a denominator? Like for example, meron tayong fractions na... 2 fifth, okay. Ang ating 2, yung nasa taas or, bot, or top number, yun yung ating numerator. While yung bottom number naman, yun naman yung ating denominator, okay. What does a normal or proper fraction look like? Okay, ano ba yung proper fractions? So, ito ang example ng proper fraction. We have 1 half. Okay, ang proper fraction, mas mataas yung nasa ilalim ng fraction kesa sa nasa ibabaw. Next, what does an improper fraction look like? So, kapag sinabi natin improper fraction, mas mataas naman yung numerator kaysa sa denominator. And this one, what does a mixed number look like? Okay, ano ba itsura ng mixed number? So, ganito. Meron siyang fraction at may whole number sa left side. Like for this one, we have 2 and 3 fourths. Okay, so let's start with like fractions. Okay, when fractions have the same denominator, they are like fractions. Kapag daw ang isang fraction ay parehas ng denominator o bottom number, ang tawag sa kanila ay like fractions. You can add or subtract fractions when you have like fractions. Kapag like fractions sila, you can directly add or subtract the fractions. Okay, so we have examples here. We have 2 fifth. 8 fifth, 6 fifth, 3 over 5, 4 fifth, 5 over 5. Okay, so kung titignan natin ang mga denominators or yung mga bottom numbers, pare-parehas. Therefore, these are all like fractions. Okay, so now let's add like fractions. Okay, in adding like fraction, may step tayo na susundin. Okay, number one, make sure that you have like fraction. So in this example, meron tayong 2 over 6 and 1 over 6. So examine natin yung kanilang denominator. So we have parehas na 6. Therefore, we have like fractions here. Okay, if like fractions, add the numerators. Okay, so we have here Sulat natin yung sum and just copy the denominator. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and then copy the denominator 6. And our last step in adding like fraction is simplify. Okay, simplify natin yung 3 over 6. We have 1 half. So, ba't naging 1 half siya? So, dinibide natin ang 3 over 3 at saka 6 sa 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Therefore, ang simplified form ng 3 over 6 is 1 half. Okay, now let's proceed to subtracting like fraction. Same with uh, addition of like fraction. May steps din tayo na susundin. Okay, number one, make sure that you have like fractions. Okay, so we have example here, 12 over 4 and 3 fourth. Okay, so examine natin yung denominator which is parehas na 4. Therefore, meron tayong like fractions. Okay, if like fraction, directly subtract the numerator. So we have here uh, 12 minus 3 is equal to 9 and yet, And then, just copy the denominator, which is 4. And then, yung ating fourth step is to simplify. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 9 over 4 natin is improper fraction. Therefore, i-multiply natin, uh, uh, i-divide natin rather yung 9 sa 4. So, 9 divided by 4, we have simplified answer is equal to 2n 1 fourth. Okay? Okay, so ano naman yung unlike fractions? Okay, ang unlike fractions have different denominators. So kapag magkaiba daw ang denominators ng ating fractions, ang tawag sa kanila ay unlike fractions or dissimilar fractions. Okay, may examples tayo dito na 2 third, 5 over 6, and 3 fourth. Kung titignan natin ang mga denominators nila, okay, so iba-iba. Ang tawag sa kanila ay unlike fractions. Okay, so... Adding or subtracting with unlike fractions isn't that different from adding or subtracting like fractions. Uh, parehas lang din sila, kaya lang meron tayong unang steps na gagawin bago natin gawin yung operations nila. You just have to find what's their common denominator. So bago natin gawin yung operation ng unlike fraction, kailangan muna nating hanapin yung common denominators nila o yung kanilang para maging like fraction sila. Okay. So, let's start with adding unlike fractions. Okay, so meron tayo ditong 2 third plus 5 over 6. Okay, so we need a common denominator to add this fraction. Kailangan parehohin muna natin yung kanilang denominator bago natin sila ma-add. Hindi natin pwedeng i-add ang ganyang uh, form kasi magkaiba sila ng 
uh, denominators ang kawag pa sa kanila is unlike fractions. So, ang goal natin is gawin muna natin silang like fractions. Okay. So, in finding common denominators, we have steps to follow. Okay. So, sa ating 2 third and 5 six, ang step 1, find a common multiple that will go into both denominators by counting by 3s and 6. Okay, since ang denominator natin ay 3 at 6, mag-skip count tayo by 3 at saka 6. Okay, let's start with 3. So, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, and then 6. We have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. Okay, and then the first number in common that appears on both lists becomes the common denominator. Kung ano daw yung unang number na common sa kanilang dalawa, Ayun yung magiging common denominator nila. So in 3, 6, 9, 12 at 6, 12, 8, 18, 24, 36, ang naunang common sa kanila ay 6. Therefore, ang common denominator natin ay 6. Okay, so ilalagay natin ngayon itong 6 sa kanilang denominators. Okay, ayan na. So ang ating common denominator ay... Uh, Six. Okay, so we have now here, okay, so meron na tayong denominator na 6. Ang hahanapin naman natin ngayon ay yung bago nating numerator. So, paano natin gagawin yon? Okay, so una, okay, una, divide common denominator by the old denominator. So, yung sa 2 third natin at sa yung 6 natin na new denominator, i-divide natin ngayon sa 3. So, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Okay, and then imumultiply natin yung sagot o yung quotient dun sa ating numerator. Okay, multiply the quotient to the numerator. We have 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay, so yan yung ating bagong numerator ngayon. Okay, dun sa bottom fraction, divide natin 6 divided by 6 is equal to 1. And then 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Okay, so meron na tayong numerator, bagong numerator ngayon. And then parehas na rin sila ng uh, denominator. Therefore, now, you're ready to use this fraction for addition since like fraction na sila. Parehas na sila ng denominators. Okay, so since uh, like fraction na yung ating 2 third and 5 six, ngayon siya ay 4 six and 5 six na, we're ready to add this fraction na. Okay, so proceed tayo sa steps five, step 5. We have to add uh, our numerator. So we have 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 and then just copy the denominator. And then our last step in uh, adding uh, fraction is to simplify. Okay, so we have here, kung mapapansin nyo, yung 9 over 6 natin is improper fraction kasi mas mataas yung uh, numerator niya kaysa sa denominator. Okay, so ang gagawin natin, let's divide 9 divided by 6. So we, we will be having the final, uh, uh, the answer of 1 and 3, 6. So since pwede pang uh, i-reduce into lowest term yung 3 at saka 6. So let's divide 3 divided by 3 and 6 divided by 3. Our final answer will be 1 and 1 half. Okay, so now let's... Uh, another example of adding unlike fraction. So, let's have 1 half plus 3 over 7. Okay, again, uh, unlike fraction. So, we need a common denominator to add this fraction. So, okay, let's follow our step in finding common denominators. Step 1, find a common multiple that will go into both denominators by counting uh, by 2s and 7. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. And then 7... 14, 21, and so on. Okay, number two, the first number in common that appears on both lists becomes the common denominator. Yung una daw number na magkapareha sila, yun yung magiging common, denominators na, common denominator natin. So, at ito yung 14. Therefore, ang common denominator ng ating 1 half at 3 over 7 is 14. Okay, so then ilalagay natin sa kanilang denominator yung 14 para like fraction na sila. Okay, after finding its common denominator, now let's find naman yung new numerators, yung bago natin numerators. Okay, in finding new numerators, we have uh, to divide common denominator by the old denominator. 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. And then, multiply the quotient to the numerator. 7 times 1 is equal to 7. And then, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa bottom part. 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Okay, so kompleto na yung fraction natin. Now, you're ready to use this fraction for addition. So, yung 1 half plus 3 over 7 natin ay 7 over 14 plus 6 over 14 na ngayon. So, like fraction na sila, so ready na tayong mag-add. 
Okay, so let's add 7 plus 6 is equal to 13. And then just copy our denominator. Okay, so since, well, um, okay, then simplify our 13 over 14. So since uh, di na natin pwedeng i-reduce into lowest term, yung 13 and 14. So 13 over 14 na yung ating final answer. Okay, so how to subtract unlike fraction naman? Same with uh, adding unlike fraction, we have uh, or we need a common denominator to subtract this fraction. So yung ating 1 half at 3 ten, hanapan natin ng common denominators. Okay, kagay, uh, we have to find common denominator. Again, ang ating step is find a common multiple that will go into both denominators. This time, we have to count by 2s and by 10. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on, and 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. Okay, yung unang uh, number na common sila o pareha sila, yun yung ating magiging common denominator. So in this problem, ang kanilang common denominator is 10. Okay, therefore, lagay natin yung 10 into both uh, denominators. So yun yung ating magiging uh, common denominators. Okay, now after finding common denominators, let's now find our new numerator. So paano natin gagawin yun? Same with uh, addition of uh, unlike fraction, we have to divide common denominator by the old denominator. Then divided by 2 is equal to 5. And then multiply the quotient by the denominator. We have 5 times 1 is equal to 5. And then same with uh, the bottom fraction. 10 divided by 10 is equal to 1. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Okay, now we are ready to use this fraction para naman sa subtraction. Okay. Okay, so ayan, yung ating 1 half minus 3 over 7 ay 5 over 10 minus 3 over 10 na ngayon. So since it's, it is like fraction already, we're ready to subtract. Okay, subtract natin yung 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 and then just copy the denominator. Our last step is to simplify. Okay, so divide uh, both numerator and denominator by 2. So we have 2 divided by 2 is 1, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So therefore, our final answer is 1 fifth. Okay, so let's have another example of subtracting unlike fraction. So we have here 1 fourth minus 1 6. Again, we need a common denominator before subtracting these fractions. Okay, so ang ating denominators here are 4 and 6. So we have to uh, count by 4 and 6. So we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on, and 6, 12, 18, and so on. Okay, again, the first number in common na nag-appear sa ating list will be our, our de common denominator. So we have here... 12. Okay, therefore, in this problem, ang ating common denominator is 12. Okay, ilalagay natin siya sa kanilang denominators. Okay, so after finding the common denominators, let's find now the new numerator. Again, so in finding ng bagong numerator, divide common denominator by the old denominator. 12 divided by 4 will give us 3. And then multiply the quotient to the numerator. 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Okay, same with the bottom part. Six, 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. And 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Okay, so, ayan. So, ready na tayo mag-subtract mag ng ating fraction because they are like fractions now. Kasi yung 1 fourth minus 1 6 natin ay 3 over 12 minus 2 over 12 na. Okay, so, let's, okay, so let's subtract. Okay, so 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, and then just copy the denominator, 12. So, simplify. So, since wala nang simplified form, ang 1 over 12, ito na yung ating final answer. Okay, so the answer is 1 over 12. So, okay, so that's it. I hope natuto kung paano mag-add at saka mag-subtract ng like and unlike fractions. Okay, so thank you uh, again for listening and... Uh, hope to see you again uh, on our next video.